There are two ways that you can tell end tidal CO2. There is mainstream and sidestream capnography, and there are pros and cons for each one of these systems. With mainstream capnography, the detector catches air as it goes through or between the detectors. This leads to an instantaneous reading of end tidal CO2. Typically, however, these patients are endotracheally intubated, and the endotracheal tube passes air right through the sensor. Because of this, this limits its use to only mechanically ventilated patients. These mainstream detectors are also very, very expensive and very, very fragile. But if you're looking for instantaneous waveform and you have a mechanically ventilated patient, this is what you're going to want to use. Sidestream capnography can be used if you're intubated or non-intubated. CO2 gets sucked back a very long tubing all the way back to the monitor where it's analyzed and a number is read out. Because of this time to travel all the way back to the monitor, it's not instant. And so these devices will take time. The other problem with side stream capnography is that the tubing can get filled with water, mucus, and just generally junk. And this can lead to errors in detection and also lead to malfunctioning of the equipment. So it doesn't always work 100% of the time and you may have to change out your tubing. The pros for this is that it is cheap and because the detector doesn't sit with the endotracheal tube and with the monitor, these are durable. Just don't forget about the lag time that side stream capnography holds.